Hello, recommend Asian, professional Asian. Thank you for joining us. So it is four o'clock on the 3rd of May, Sunday afternoon, and um, my mother-in-law, Nishaven Mahendra Mehta, we did a session um, last week, same time. Thank you all so much for your lovely comments and feedback. We were quite overwhelmed and uh, mummy has supported me so much this week. We've been running a lot of sessions like this for various Asian community groups. Um, I'm on a mission to try and help as many as I can. Um, so I also wanted to point out that this session is going to be in English and in Gujarati. So mummy will be translating uh, for me in Gujarati as my Gujarati is okay, but not perfect. And she will be demonstrating and actually doing the exercise and I feel hopefully that will really help inspire our elderly to keep fit, to keep some movement going. We have seen the statistics of coronavirus, unfortunately are really hitting our Asian communities, the BAME communities. And I really wanna help, especially the elderly where their immune system may not be as fit as the younger generation really use exercise a powerful tool it's like medicine we can use exercise to keep them moving to raise their boost their spirits their immune system and more than anything um, treat it like i'm saying like medicine so just to let you know also that i am providing on my instagram 21 days of free workouts which i'm posting daily on my Instagram at Feel Good with Lavina. It is also, um, uh, it's for all ages and abilities. So it is applicable for seniors to join. I have always given beginners and seniors options, but today is specifically for those that are slightly less mobile and won't be able to do a full workout. So let's make a start. Um, today, actually, if you could get um, either a towel uh, just for one or two exercises I'm going to show you that are new. If by any chance, if you're living as a joint family, if you have youngsters in the house, if you have one of these resistance bands, they're readily available now on um, Amazon and lots of stockists. These resistance bands are really useful. If not, I have had suggestions from uh, people that are following me on Instagram to use a pair of tights. So something with that's nice and stretchy, it's gonna give you a little bit of resistance. So if you have got one, please go and grab that. It's just for one or two new exercises. If not, you can always use a towel or a belt or even a gown tie, just something nice and long. Obviously this doesn't have the stretch and the resistance, but it will still help you mobilize. So we're gonna whiz through, Mummy's going to be talking in Gujarati for me. And we will start our workout with a nice warm up just to get everything nice and warm. Really important to get the muscles activated and mobilized properly and your joints. So we're gonna start off by opening and closing our hands. So we're getting the circulation down into the fingertips and closing into a fist shape. So we're gonna do 10 of these, lengthening and squeezing. Tari mutti kolo, tari mutti andar vado. Tari mutti kolo, tari mutti andar vado. A sarir ma garma o lause. Good. And all this time for this workout, I would love you all to sit nice and straight. So keep your shoulders back. Mommy, you can keep doing these. We're going to do 10 of them. Just look at your posture because we're trying to prevent this kyphosis this sitting syndrome that um, our generation is really a bit of um, issues with. So let's sit nice and straight. Let's engage our core. Try and keep your belly button towards your spine. And I want just nice deep breaths. Focus on breathing, which is going to help kick in the parasympathetic nervous system and just calm your body and get you feeling great, body and mind. Unda swas leo, tamarin duti, andar rako, that is your navel, 
तुम्हारी दूटी अंदर राखो बत्ती कसरत में तब सीधा तटार बेसो Good, lovely. So we've probably did more than 10 of those, but we're just going to now sit nice and tall on your chair. We're starting on the chair today, then we will be moving to doing some standing work today. We're going to now do some half circles with the neck. So it's like a semi-circle. So I'll start on one side and I'm just bringing my chin down to the other side and relaxing my shoulders. Just a half semicircle, looking one direction, chin to chest, all the way around to the other direction. Inhale and exhale. Tamya under swas liyo, bari swas kado. Under swas liyo, bari swas kado. Good. So we're just mobilizing our neck. Let's do one more each way. And bring it back to the middle. Now we will bring, again relaxing the shoulders, keeping the spine upright. We'll bring the chin towards your chest. So look down. Inhale. And then exhale, bring the chin up. So lengthen the neck. Look as high as you can. Let's do two more of those. Inhale. <laughs> One more. Inhale and exhale. Lovely. Back to the middle, neutral spine. Then we're going to look over to the right or one side. I know we're opposite to you on the camera. And over to the other side. Relaxing the shoulders. We're just going to take nice deep breaths. Inhale, looking round, and exhale. So turn left to right, mummy. To be jumpy, basu turn tall. To be swas under liyo. To be under aao, pare swas liyo. Dabi taraf faro. Good, lovely. Just nice deep breaths. Well done and relax. So your neck should be a little bit looser. Now, as I was saying, if you do have a towel or one of these resistance bands handy, you can do this exercise seated or standing. We're going to try and do it seated by just moving forward into the seat. These resistance bands vary in resistance. So um, some are easier and some are harder. Don't worry if you don't have one of these. I'll also demonstrate with the towel as well. You're going to hold it as just fairly loose to start and just come a little bit forward onto the seat so you have enough space. You're going to lengthen the arms and you're going to bring it up. Inhale and then you're going to see how far your arms can go back. But you can pull on the band. So mommy, if you want to just carefully try coming round. If you need to bend the arms, this is your whole shoulders mobility. So go nice and loose and then as you come up, inhale, you can try and bend the arms. Can you go any further back? Well done. Can you bring the band behind you? And inhale and exhale. Good. Now, you can feel the whole joint, this ball and socket joint, it's like a shoulder flossing is what I call it. And it's a great way to get this full range of mobility. Over time, using a resistance band is quite handy because you can come narrower and you can feel it getting a little bit more challenging and you really pull the band apart. Inhale. Good, it's hard to get over without bending your arm. And exhale. So lots of my clients struggled with this and also had to bend behind their arms. Over time, your flexibility will increase and you'll be able to get it over with nice straight arms. But I would encourage you, so mommy, as you've got a bend, you can go nice and wide on it. Keep it loose, so even if I was using a towel or a gown tie, I would hold it at the end. I'd keep my arms quite straight, inhale 
And here I'm going to bend because my towel's a little bit sho shorter. Good. And all the way round. Lovely. So you should start feeling the shoulders getting nice and warm. How does that feel? Can you feel that? So resistance bands are adding a little bit of tension and you can then start challenging yourself. So if you're going over with a bend, you can then start going over a little bit straighter. Then you can start moving the hands further round. So if you haven't got resistance band, don't worry. You can do this with a gown tie or a towel. And if you've got nothing, you can just try and imagine pulling that band behind you, good. And all the way round. Excellent. Good. So we're getting everything nice and mobile. Another good one to use with either a pair of tights or a resistance band is if you hold it out in front of you. So you can go fairly loose to start off with before and just check your range of movement. You're now going to pull it apart and go diagonally. So it's coming in front of your chest. Good. Exhale and inhale and then the other way so then you can pull the other arm out good lengthen that's it exhale and inhale mommy you're nice and color coordinated with the band so do you want to explain in gujarati exhale Swas and inhale so you're trying to lengthen good and now do the other side, the other arm up, so we can alternate, if you say we're lengthening through the body. Now if I had no band, I could just pretend to open my arms out. See this lovely diagonal, I'm stretching through, fingertip to fingertip, opening out my chest, and inhale. And then exhale, good and inhale so do you know how to say diagonal we're trying to stretch and open the chest good lovely then back to the middle excellent good so we're aiming for about 10 of those but you always start off small. Listen to your body. I can't see you. I wish I could see you all. Start off with a couple and then progress. Each time you do this workout, you can add a few more repetitions in. We're now gonna cross our arms over our chest. So we're done with the band. And we're sitting nice and tall, core engaged, and we're gonna just twist round. So we're really opening up the top of our spine. Spinal twist and inhale as you come back to the middle. Now follow your gaze. So follow, just look over, twisting round. Exhale and inhale. Back to the middle, good. Can you feel it here in the top of your spine? So really good to mobilize the spine, get some movement going, just a small twist. You can really feel that. Good. Inhale, let's do one more. And exhale, twisting round. Inhale. Good, it's quite a small movement, but you can probably feel that all the way, the upper part. All these exercises are gonna help flexibility, mobility, and strengthening. So I hope, I've had some amazing comments um, after previous sessions um, where people have felt a lot of release. Areas that were feeling tight before are now feeling um, a lot more mobile and flexible. So that's great feedback. We're now going to just do some shrugs. So imagine you're um, relaxing, you're, lift your um, scapula back. So that means I'm bringing my shoulders back and down, spine is straight. I'm going to just inhale, bring the shoulders up to my ears 
and exhale. Just let them drop. It's a lovely shrug. Inhale up towards the ears and exhale. Great stress reliever. Shwas bare kato. Pacho shwas andad liyo. Kabakantara flay jao. Bare shwas liyo. When we're stressed, when we're anxious, we often bring all the tension up towards our shoulders and inadvertently your body is starting to react to tension. So we're just letting it all go. We can even try this with your arms straight up in the air and you can try and reach up, inhale and then exhale. Just drop the shoulders. It's a small movement. Bring the shoulders up towards the ears and relax them down. Let's do two more. Andashvastliyo. Bareshvastliyo. Andashvastliyo. Bareshvastliyo. And can you feel that more with your arms up? You should start feeling it in your lats and shoulders and upper back a little bit more. So we will get up now carefully. So you're going to stand up. I'm just going to adjust this camera. You're going to come to the side of your chair. And we're going to do a little bit of standing. This is being streamed on both professional Asian and recommend Asian sites. And it will be saved there. So don't worry, you can always come back to this. What we're going to do, let's go on mommy's side, is we're going to start off. You can stand here as well, mommy. I'm just going to demonstrate. You're going to start off by doing some calf raises. So just lifting your heels off the ground and you're working this part, strengthening the lower part of the leg. Again, where people can get very tight. So your mommy's gonna stand where I am and she's gonna lift up to her heels. Yeah, good, if you wanna go there and relax. Now we have previously demonstrated where you can do these singly. You can lift up onto one heel and down. But when you're standing, it's easier to lift both heels. Good. So you can also add a hold as you progress and relax. So the breathing is to exhale to the harder part of the movement and inhale as you replace the heels down. You're coming onto your tiptoes. And good, you can hold at the top. Mummy, carry on. For those less mobile, in case anyone has difficulty doing that standing, you can also do this on a chair where I'm just lifting one heel and replacing and the other and replacing. Or I could lift both heels up, really squeeze the calves, whether you're standing or seated and replace them down. So this is a great one to really get into this lower part, back of your leg by the calf muscles and down. And it's also just warming all the body up, even to your toes, your feet. Can you feel that? And release. Well done. So now we will stand just with your hand to the side of the chair. Just move this one out of the way. And we're going to do some work for your hips. Now we know about hip replacements becoming very common nowadays. And our hips carry a lot of trauma, anxiety, especially right now with everything going on. The world has changed so much. We need to give those hips some love and some mobility. So just standing hip raises. You just hold a chair or any um, steady surface for support. You're going to also try and balance on one leg. Keep the legs nice and straight. And I'm going to just keep my hand on my waist and squeeze out to bring lifting the leg to the side and then back to the middle you breathe out as you lift and squeeze you try and keep your body nice and straight and still 
so that the only thing working is this lovely hip moving out to the side. It's actually the abductors, this raise, so it's a side raise. तमारो शरीर एकदम सीधो राखो तमारो जेवो पाव पारे काडो वो श्वास बारे जाए जेवो तमे अंदर लियो श्वास अंदर लियो now to progress you can either put the foot down each time because you can feel your load on the leg that's supporting this should start feeling a little bit heavier and a bit harder to support your weight or if you're ready you can keep this leg Slightly off the ground, like maybe a centimeter or two, even in between. I'm hovering and then going out. So let's try a couple there, and over time, your range, your movement will get even bigger. Good. Can you feel that? And one more. Lovely and relax. We're going to even out. So shall we swap positions? Well done. So just getting some support uh, from a chair or. Sorry about that. I do have do not disturb on. There we go. Okay, so let's try this side now. Hands on the chair just to support. Other hand on your waist. Again, body nice and upright. Good posture throughout. And now we're going to squeeze the other leg out to the side. And back to the middle. Good. So, mummy, you're going to start by keeping that foot on the ground when it comes back in, and then if you want to progress, you can hover. So, could you explain that? Just the progression. So, body jaw, and swas body cardio, under awo, under swas liyo ne pal de si thara ko ne abadu tamara hips tamara saathar ne bo help karse tamara saathar bo buch karse. Do not disturb. Doesn't want to work today. I'm sorry about this, people. Okay, let's carry on. So let's try a few hovering. Squeeze out back to the middle. Good. Let's do two more and back in. Last one. Can you feel that? Good. I can see over just a couple of weeks that even my mummy's been doing these with me. Can you feel that your range is coming up further? Yeah. Yeah. So even if you start off small, that's absolutely fine. Then we're going to do the same similar exercise, but we're now going to target the back of your glutes. Now this is such a big, strong, important muscle group in the body. Forget how we look. I keep saying in my free uh, workouts, my Instagram, for all ages. Forget how we look right now. Focus on exercise for sanity, not vanity. And I know everyone loves to have a lovely pert bottom, but right now, focus on how important your glutes are to your body. When you're sitting, standing, we really need to make sure these muscles are nice and strong. So, supporting again with one hand, I'm now going to lift one leg and try and go backwards with it nice and straight. But without my body coming forward, keeping it nice and still, so I'm isolating the movement. Exhale, inhale. So I can start feeling that in my glute. Can you feel that? Inhale, good. So you can try and explain to keep your body nice and still, and just bringing the foot back. It's a glute kickback. Tamari, tamari sari sidura ko. अने तमारू पद पाचन ले जाओ ने श्वास बारे काढो अंदर ले आओ तो श्वास अंदर लियो श्वास बारे श्वास अंदर तमारू शरीर से दूर रखो गुड सो कैन यू फील दैट मूवमेंट कमिंग हियर या लवली एंड अगेन टू मेक इट मोर चैलेंजिंग यू कैन होवर दिस फुट सो इट्स नॉट जस्ट टचिंग द ग्राउंड ईच टाइम इन द मिडल I'm keeping it slightly raised and I'm squeezing back. Maybe aim for ideally you do 10 of these and then when 10 gets easy you do 3 sets of 10. So you do another set, have a break, have another set. Let's just even out on the other leg now. And this is great because you're doing a bit of single leg work. Single leg work is really important 
to try and keep both sides of your body strong. We are always more dominant on one side, if, you, if you're right-handed, normally your right side, and it's great for your brain, because you have to coordinate a little bit, cognitive training as well. Can you feel this? Exhale, I can see your concentration. Well done, let's do two more. Squeeze the glute, really squeeze these muscles as we're doing them, and relax, well done. So you should feel quite warm now, do you feel that? We're going to do a little bit of marching on the spot. I'm going to give you an option on the chair for those less mobile, because I know mummy uh, doesn't look her age and she's doing really well. She's going to try and do this standing up. Like I keep going on about, walking is fantastic, especially for us Asians with type 2 diabetes, all these illnesses that then lead on like cardiovascular disease. It is proven that walking, brisk walking for 10 minutes after a meal can help control your blood sugar. Now, if we can't get out, which obviously we're in lockdown at the moment, and if you don't have a garden, I'm gonna encourage you to just start marching on the spot. You're just lifting your legs. If you want to, you can make it some movement with your arms. So imagine you're just walking, you're marching. Now, as you get better at this, you can obviously increase your pace. The option for those that are less mobile is you can even try, like we've done before, is lifting the leg up and down, imagining you're walking, you're marching. Good. Can you feel that, mummy? And then you hold your core in, you keep breathing. So, mummy, if you explain the two versions, um, either standing or seated. Tame uba kaini pankari shako, tame tamari kursi pa besi ne pankari shako, pa tamari bhakti kasrat ma tame dutti niche andar rakho, ane a kasrati tame evu lakse ke tame chalo cho. Good. So it's marching on the spot. It's raising your heart rate. Are you getting warmer? Yeah. And your breathing is obviously going to get faster. Your heart has to pump the blood round your body, which is great. It's going to increase your cardiovascular strength, your aerobic capacity. It's going to be so beneficial. So I've probably got mummy doing this for about a minute. You can relax now. You could try and do what you can. Obviously, this is a great exercise. If you're watching TV a bit too much, maybe just get up every half an hour, do some movement. Even if it's just this move, I'm giving you lots of exercises today. So maybe just take away one thing that will give you some movement in the day. And this way you're getting your steps in. You're becoming quite a full body move. Even if you're seated and less mobile, you can try and do this on a chair. I'm moving my arms. I'm still already raising my heart rate. I can hear it from the talk test that I've been trained on. If a client isn't wearing a fitness tracker, I can normally tell if I say to them, how are you feeling and how they respond. So if you can sing a song um, easily, obviously that your heart rate must be nice and low and relaxed. But as you start, you'll feel you're less able to hold a conversation as easily. Okay, great. So we're going to practice um, one of my favourite, again, that I did demonstrate last week. It's just we're going to do one set today of the sit and stands because, like I said last week, this is such an important movement for maintaining your independence, being able to stand up from a seat. Now, people will struggle, so you have got the support, either the hand rest or the chair. Um, I know mommy can do this quite well, so she's going to demonstrate again, but this is so important to help strength in your legs, you're working your core, your glutes, and I want you to think about mind over the muscles, so squeezing those muscles 
as we do the movement. So you can come slightly forward. So mummy, could you explain about focusing on the muscles, getting your brain to send those messages? Tamara Magajmati a message jase te tamara muscle upatame Najarako. Good, perfect. So we're gonna just practice ten. If you can't do ten, don't worry, do what you can do. Ideally you do ten, have a little break and build up to three sets of ten. That would be my perfect fitness prescription. You can use support. So I'll show you one supported. You're going to inhale and then exhale, squeeze, lift and stand. I'm squeezing my glutes nice and tight, keeping my core engaged and then I'm carefully coming back to seated. So if you need support, I'll keep my hands here. Inhale, exhale, good. Inhale, exhale. Now to make it more challenging, mommy can start using her arms because she's very good at this. So she's going to inhale and then exhale, lift her arms up. Good, even onto her tiptoes and back down, well done. Another version is to also cross your hands over the chest. This is more advanced, so stick to the basic with support if you need to. Inhale, lift up, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the thighs, keep the arms there, sorry, and exhale. So mommy, do you wanna carry on doing a few and explain? Swas bari kaito, swas andarlio. And this is important for independence. Swas bari kaito, swas andarlio. Ani abo agar ke nuche ke tamhe tamari saathe rahi shako. Good. It's a functional movement. Sit to stand. If that was hard, you can always try this version where you're holding on and you're just trying to lift a little way and coming back down. You're not even coming all the way up, but I'm squeezing my muscles and replacing down. What this is getting you towards, if you were able, and I'm not pushing anyone, but if you're more able, is the functional standing squat, where eventually you'd be able to do a squat where you've got no support you're imagining sitting back on that chair and squeezing up. Inhale and exhale. Obviously I'm guiding you today with a chair, but when you're doing exercise regularly and your strength builds up, you will then hopefully be able to progress to a squat where you, I want your feet probably a little bit wider and make sure your knees come out and track in line with your toes. So you're always making sure with a squat that your knees never come in to protect them and you're sitting back and down as if I've got this chair behind me. I'm going down to touch it and squeezing up. This is so good for your lower body strength, for your core. Good, and it's body weight strength training. Good. Inhale and exhale. Excellent. Mummy has done lots and lots of sports there. Excellent work. So have a little rest. So that is the, the start of trying to, obviously then if you could try and progress to a full squat. But I'm just showing you that to show you the different options. We're going to do a little bit of resistance training now. You could use some um, tins, some safe household objects, uh, some water bottles, some, I've got some laundry bottles. Mummy's going to hold these. As you get better and improve, you can then maybe go on from the tins to water bottles, increasing the weight. I don't expect you to have dumbbells, which is why we're demonstrating with these safe household objects, obviously no glass. We're going to try and do some rows to try and work our upper body and our backs. I get a lot of messages from ladies asking for uh, exercises to help 
tone bingo wings, after triceps, the underarms and the back. So this is a good one. You're going to start off with your palms facing down in front of you, arms straight. And then I'm going to just show you from the side. You're then going to try and inhale, squeeze, keep your elbows shoulder height. Now squeeze in between your shoulder blades. Inhale, exhale, good. And try and keep your wrists straight so they don't bend as they come in. In that position, good. Inhale, exhale. It's like a rowing movement. Can you feel that, mummy? Yeah. Lovely. And try and keep your wrists straight. And good. Body is fast, Leo. Good. And body is fast, Leo. Body is fast, Can you tell them to try and squeeze here in the middle of their shoulder blades? Tamare be kabani vache, vachma, tamay ekdam lakse ke squeeze tai che. Now it's very common, even with mommy, if you rest for a second, when you bring the weight in towards you, you, you start bending the wrists here. But you want to try and keep the wrist straight so we're getting all of this strength and the whole arm, the back, upper back and the chest. So we're squeezing, we're keeping the wrist straight, even here, better, good. Inhale, exhale. So this is a nice rowing movement. Good, you can try and aim for just 10 repetitions. Obviously start off with smaller uh, numbers at the beginning and then you can increase your sets as well. Relax, good. So you should really feel that. Did you feel that? Nice and warm. The amazing thing about strength training is that it's proven to help find and fight infection and virus in your body. So especially coronavirus, there's been some research on the actual hormones that strength training releases. And not only that, but it can also help be a natural antidepressant. So I'm all about feeling good, body, but especially mind and improving people's mental health. So I love strength training, just adding a bit of resistance. Obviously you can do this just body weight. Even if you imagine with no weight, you're squeezing all your muscles and really squeezing back to that row position. Squeezing in between your shoulder blades. Inhale, exhale. Start off with just body weight. Listen to your body. Then you can always add those tins or water bottles. Well done. We're now going to do another exercise which is great for sculpting your arms. It's going to help obviously tone but right now I'm talking about strength more than that. So we're going to do a forward and a lateral raise. I would say start off very light. So let's start off with no weight at all. Shoulders back, spine upright, core engaged. Lengthen the arms in front of you. Exhale, inhale. Then mommy, you're gonna come out to the side. So one forward and back down and now out to the side. Just the shoulder height, your palms are facing down and relax. Good, so now forward, exhale. And then out to the side. So it's a side lateral raise. So you're keeping your arms nice and straight. You should start feeling in your shoulders and then come back down. Now, if you were to add these light tins, you could see you do not need a heavy weight in this exercise, trust me. So mommy's going to come out to the front, exhale and inhale and then out to the side, exhale, inhale, good. So it's a front raise, arms are straight, back down, just to shoulder height and then exhale, lovely. Shall we do one more? Squeeze up, keep the core engaged, keep breathing, and out. So mommy, can you just explain, we'll go front and side, but you just go to shoulder height. Body hat kadu, first body kadu. And then down, good. Exhale. 
and then and five inch, two inch, three inch. Good. Good. I can feel you nice and warm, mommy. That's good. Are you, can you feel it? That whole circulation, the strengthening. Excellent work. Now I've shown you both of those together to save time. You could just do the front ones, do 10 front raises, relax, and then do 10 side raises, these lateral ones. You can pick and choose. It's going to get your brain working with that to do front and then side as a, a joint movement. So just do what you can. We'll now try some bicep curls, mommy. So we're going to work this part of our arms, building strength in the arms. You're going to hold those tins. I'm going to give you two options. For those that want to do them seated, again, you're not going to bend this wrist back. You're going to keep this wrist nice and straight. So choose a light weight or no weight. Elbows are staying tucked into your body. They're not out. Body's nice and upright. I'm lengthening all the way. My arms are nice and straight. And then I'm squeezing up. Exhale and inhale. Bringing that weight towards my shoulders. Exhale, inhale. Good. Andas vas, bares vas. Tamara koli che neti eya tamara said ma chota libyo. Ane tamara kanda siddha rakhwala. Good. Can you feel that here? Now to progress, because mommy is more able, you can stand up. And this is just an option. I want you to carry on doing bicep curls on the chair. But if you want to progress, you can try a toe tap. So one foot is going to tap as I do a curl. Tap forward and then bring that foot back. And then the other side. Tap. Good. And in. Lovely. Exhale and inhale. And now squeeze this part of your arm as you're curling the weight. This front part of my arm, even if I had no weight, I'm trying to really activate it. Squeeze it in. Good. So mommy is now adding some movement by adding this toe tap and coming back in. Tap it out. And it's a lot of Work for your brain to try and keep, so mommy you're curling, yeah, it's hard, right? So you just do a few, and if you wanted to, you could even do those seated. So if you were doing those seated bicep curls, you could sit down and actually add the toe tap when you're seated. So we could tap one leg and curl at the same time and bring it in. And then the other leg, good, and bring it in. Either a heel tap or a little toe tap, whatever you want. Good, exhale and inhale. One more, curl and relax. It's quite a lot of movement, so there's a few options. If that was hard, just stick to the bicep curls, just on their own. We are going to do one more exercise, and I'm going to just move, carefully move the chair over to the wall. Mummy can stay seated. So obviously, get some help if you need to move the chair across by the wall. I want you to make sure it's against a sturdy surface so the chair isn't going to move. Mummy, you can come over here now. Mommy's going to demonstrate, if she remembers, the perfect plank position that I did show you last week. Because a plank is such a great um, exercise, it's going to recruit so many muscles. Well done. So she's trying to get a straight line from her head down to her heels. Over time she can bring these hips slowly down and engage the core. Lift and squeeze. Are you breathing? Good, nice deep breaths. Your body will really feel this. Your shoulders are over the hands. Well done and relax. Good, did you feel that? So over time, I'll just demonstrate. If you wanted, you can look back on last week's video, um, which is on both Recommendation and Professional Asian. We had the chair the other way to start off with, where it's higher and it was easier. 
We're now using the lower part of the chair and what we're trying to do is not keep our hips up or arching our back. We want a lovely straight line and I'm really squeezing all my muscles. My legs are strong, my glutes were squeezed and I'm drawing that belly button in towards my spine. It's going to help strengthen your core and help strengthen your spine. Really effective full body movement of plank if you do it properly. So practice. Mummy held for maybe 10 seconds there. Over time you can just try and start increasing. Even if you hold it for a few seconds at the beginning, next time you do it you'll see you're slowly progressing. The one thing I wanted to um, show you because mummy is able to do this is another little progression. So a bit more advanced. If you were in the plank and you could then hold it quite easily, I want you to try and lift one leg, knee up to the chest and replace it down. You don't have to be on tiptoe, but it's a little bit easier to lift that knee and I'm squeezing my stomach and back down. This is a very slow movement. I want you to do it slowly, controlled. It's almost like a mountain climber for the um, people that are familiar with that exercise. But on a chair, I want it very slow. So try and come in that perfect plank. And mommy, just try one, lift the knee up, exhale, lift, put it back down. As you lift the knee up towards your chest, good, just relax there. I just want you to try one or two. That's it. Well done. And try and keep the plank. So you can see as people get tired, the hips start coming up. So mommy, come up to standing. That's it. Well done, it's hard, right? Because you are lifting one of your levers, one foot off the ground, and the other three have to support your body. But even if you did these standing, every time you lift the knee up towards your chest, I want you to engage the core muscle as it comes up above the belly button, it's squeezing in. So obviously these are high knees standing, for those that are more able, you could then start just doing these if that plank is a little bit harder. Good. And again, exhale and squeeze the core. Yes. Can you feel that? Good. Well done. Excellent work. One more. And relax. Great work. How are you feeling? Good. A little bit warmer. So let's try a few stretches today using the chair. We'll just go either side of it. Do you want to keep this? Lovely. So we're going to stretch it out, guys. I always have so many things to show you. Um, it can be overwhelming. Watch the videos back. Maybe just pick a couple of exercises if you're new to it all. Otherwise, if you want, just watch it back and try and follow this whole session with us. Please leave a message if you have done the session with us and how you found it. Let's stretch because stretching is so important to help prevent injury. I know mommy said that she can start feeling her muscles are working, yeah? So a little bit of pain after exercise is fine. It shows that you're, you're breaking down those muscle fibers and rebuilding. You're getting more strength. Um, and then it should just go after a day or two. Normally it's called DOMS, Delayed Onset Muscle Soreness. You'd experience it 24 hours to 48 hours after a workout. Did yours, were they fine afterwards? Yes, they're fine. Good, so you felt it a little bit? Yes, I did feel it. Good, so, and then slowly, as you keep doing the exercise, those soreness um, that you experience will get less and less. So now I often don't feel that pain and I really miss it, but it's because my muscles have got used to it. So let's stretch because I don't want you to feel too sore and I don't want you to get injured. We're going to do the hamstring stretch like we did seated last time, but this time I'm going to lengthen one leg in front of me, so heel on the ground and toe is flexed towards me. You can hold onto the chair or if you're able you can just try and bring your chest towards the thigh. So you're bending at the hips, mummies. You're hinging forward, that's it. 
and lengthening this leg. If you want some support, hold the chair. I want you to more flex the toes towards you and keep this leg as straight as possible and try and breathe into it. Hold it, hold it. Nice deep breaths. So good job, Kimma, careful. Tamara Pog ni penny, um Jaminu Paragwa lay jao, Tamara Anguta Tamara Tarafwalo, Tamara Hat, Ayati Kambar Agati Tame Walo, and in the mini chileja. Good. And you just try and hold a stretch for 20 to 30 seconds, maybe five or six really nice slow deep breaths. Can you feel that? Good. Now slowly to standing. Let's stretch out the other side. Could you feel that? You should feel it all the way down the leg. So mommy, do the other side for me. Good. Now if you were seating, mommy, you hold this. I want you to stretch out. Like we did last week, you can do this seated, you bring one leg forward, heel on the ground, toes flex towards you, hold the seat for support, you can stretch up and slowly, it's a small movement, bringing your chest towards the thigh. You can relax your hand if you wanted and reach for your toes, ankle or your shin, but just bring <coughs> length into the leg. Well done and relax. So both sides, it's really important that you stretch properly. Now we will also, make sure your chair doesn't move, I'm going to show you one to help stretch out the calf. This is ideal if you've got a step, but we're going to show you another one where you lean on a steady surface. So mommy, if you face me, you're going to put both hands here, I'm going to make sure the chair doesn't move, and you're going to bring one foot back, Push that heel into the ground of the back foot and you slightly bend this leg. Now, all you should feel is a stretch down, yeah? Can you feel that straight away in your calf? Yeah. Good. Now, if you feel that easy, you can move this leg slightly further back. The back foot can go a little bit further, but just keep that heel in the ground. So I feel a lovely stretch again, all the way down, into that calf, into that heel, breathe. That's it. And relax. Let's try the other side. Could you feel that? Yeah, more was thick. A lot, yeah, no? Because you keep, a, people keep a lot of tension in their calf and we don't really um, give it much attention, unfortunately. So, let's try the other side. Make sure the heel of the back foot is pressed in the ground. You can obviously come forward, but just don't load this front knee. So you can just keep uh, increasing it if you can't feel it. And slowly lunge, slowly bend this front leg. Nice deep breaths. Inhale, exhale. Let's take one more and relax. Well done. I'm going to give you your seat back and break my have a seat. You've worked super, super hard again today. Um, I hope you're feeling those stretches. Uh, really, really important. And important part of my whole feel good fitness prescription is stretch. I've actually posted a whole 30 minute video that I did as part of my free workouts with my husband and um, mommy's grandson, the youngest one, Sahil, who's 12. It's on my Instagram today. If those more advanced wanted to do a full stretch workout, it is also there. And it's adding in some principles from yoga that I absolutely love as well. So let's stretch out our upper body because we've done a lot of work there. Interlock the hands. So try and interlock your fingers and then lift the arms up. Relax the shoulders away from your ears, but lengthen the arms. And then imagine I'm trying to pull these apart, but I'm not actually, they're glued together. So lift your chin, mummy, look ahead. 
And if you can explain that a little bit in Gujarati. Tamara hat under avi ritna angla under barago and ekdam tight rako, pasitame swas leo and hat upper lai jao. Vitya under tame hold karo ne dip ritli da karo. Good. And try and separate the fingers but keep them glued together. Unda swas leo. Well done. And then we're going to take a deep breath in here. And then we're slowly bending slightly towards one side. So I'm just getting a lovely stretch all the way down the side, keeping my hip fixed into the seat. And relax. And then back to the middle. Don't hold your breath. You can even just keep breathing here. Just listen to your body. Your natural breathing. Encourage each exhale to get rid of any tension. Breathe into that lovely stretch and relax. Well done. We're going to relax down. One last stretch for your chest. So you can either try and get your hands round the back of a seat if you're on a seat. And you're going to lift your chest open. So keep your back nice and straight and open out these chest muscles by really good looking forward and sitting nice and upright. If you weren't on a chair and you didn't have a back, if you're on the sofa, you can put your hands in the middle of your back and try and bring your elbows towards each other. Good, so we're trying to relax there. And then the final we do the opposite. We're trying to hug a tree almost and really round the back. So this part of my spine, I'm trying to open out the vertebra. I'm almost sucking my belly button in, bringing my chin towards the chest, relaxing my head, and breathe here. Nice deep breath. Lovely. Well done. Nice deep breathing. And relax. And then when you're ready, return back to lovely neutral spine. Could you feel that opening out your vertebra? Excellent. So we are now finished. Final little feel good finish as I finish all my workouts. Seated or standing, we're going to take a lovely positive inhale in. Reaching, lengthening the arms up, inhale, exhale, any negativity, tension, worries, anxiety, all away. Under Swas Leo, Sub Vicharo Karo, Bare Swas Leo, Bata Sub Vicharo Bare Fekidio. Good. Last one, deep breath in, hands meet at the top. Relax them down to your heart center. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us. Thank you. Um, I hope you feel good. Stay safe. Stay home, everyone. We will get through this. And I would love your feedback and comments. I hope you enjoyed the session. As I said, on my Instagram at feelgoodwithlavina, I'm posting 21 days of free workouts. So um, it's all free. I'm trying to help as many as I can. Um, have a look at my social media at Feel Good with Lavina. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and I have a website, www.feelgoodwithlavina.com, and also on YouTube. So um, stay safe, everyone, and thank you so much. Nothing is impossible. Satamarejo, kasrat kartarejo. Thank you so much, Mummy. Big round of applause for Mummy. Thank you to Lavina. No, thank you for joining us. I hope you found the session useful.